remember picking up a ball when I was nine and then I had a game like two weeks later. I think I was about a foot taller than all the other kids. I was just running over kids and I just loved the game when I was playing it. A brilliant cutout pass there for Junior Nsemba, who I think has been fantastic since he's come onto the field. He's a big fella, he's a tall fella, not the easiest to tackle. I used to live bang on between 50p park and Scott Lane Park, so it was literally round the corner from Wigan Warriors, so I'd have a rugby ball in my hand playing with my little cousin, kicking the ball with my dad. I come from a football background, so when I had a boy, I thought to myself it's best to get into football because uh, in Cameroon, there's not a lot of rugby over there. So when Junior was around four or five, I started taking him to uh, you know, JJB Stadium. They have like a Saturday kickabout. So that should get me interested in football. One day we went to play around, I think it was Ron So A man came to me and said, is that your son playing there? Because I mean, people say we look alike, so I don't know if that's true. <laughs> no, you're not. So he <laughs> said, no, you're not. So he said, is that your son playing there? I said, yes, that's my son. He said, have you ever tried him in rugby? I said, I know nothing about rugby, really. I was speaking to some of my friends, not to try to get uh, if they know any good team, and that's how they introduced me to St. Jude. And that's where he made the transition from football to rugby. My, my amateur club was uh, Wigan St. Jude's, and uh, it was a very good club. We had a very good team. I think 14 boys got, um, like got to Wigan Saints, all, all the good teams. So, yeah, we had, we had some good players around there. But I tried to push him to play both because I see believe that he was going to be a football player. Because I remember when he was born, there's Mika Richards from uh, Man City. He's tall, athletic. I thought my son's going to be like that. You know, he's tall and he's going to be a good defender. I used to take him to football training and rugby training at the same time because he was around uh, Wesley Mains and uh, before the roundabout, you no, know, where the roundabout is, before they close that area. The football training was on the other side of the road and rugby was on this side of the road. So I used to steal him from football from rugby and then just dash to you know, football but then he said to me one day that I can't do this anymore you know I, I'm, I'm, I'm really tired and even his mom said to me listen you can't just be taking him from one side to another and ask him to choose and just chose rugby and uh, he's never turned he's never looked back since then. And Semba on from the bench the young fella he's only 18 junior and Semba. Yeah I'm really really proud I mean I can't stop mentioning his name everywhere I go I mean, I'll show his photo before I can show my own face. Yeah, we're down here with the big chap, Junior and Semba. What a performance, mate. Talk us through the emotions when you went over for that try. Oh, when, I, when I scored that try, it felt amazing just because the fans were behind me. We knew that game was intense, but it felt amazing scoring that try. I was doing, it, doing everything for my family and my mum. I love this club. His uh, auntie, who's my sister, and uh, was married to a footballer, uh, Rigobe Songbahanak. Play for Liverpool, and I mean, he came to Europe in '94 after the World Cup in America. At the moment, he's uh, the national coach for Cameroon. Yeah, I know it'd be class uh, knowing that uh, my uncle's played there a couple of times, so uh, if I could play at Wembley, it'd be uh, amazing, it'd be over the moon. Challenge Cup is like all or nothing, in it? There's a different feeling to it. Liam Marshall, Liam Marshall, into the corner, and he might just have won it! Wow! Yeah, we went down with a couple of the young boys, like the Academy Reserves guys, we were sat in the crowd, and uh, when Liam Marshall scored that last try, we was all buzzing, and so was the whole crowd. It was a very good atmosphere. When people get to know that my son plays for Wigan Warriors, I mean, uh, they, they, they kind of look at me in a different way. Coming from uh, our background and you no know, football background, and him you no know, in, in getting interested into rugby and then doing well as he's doing now, I'm really, really, really proud of him.